Okay, so I'm gonna talk about some of the tools that we have on the wall here so you're familiar with uh, what they are when you walk into a bike shop. So we'll start at the left here. These are cone wrenches, all different sizes. They go from 13 um, till probably like 24. Uh, most common ones are 13 and 15. 13 for the front wheel, 15 for the rear wheel. Basically what they do is they fit um, right in, inside the hub, inside the lock ring, so they're nice and thin, um, and basically they're for adjusting the hub. All um, tools for bicycles are usually um, metric, unless you're dealing with something that's uh, kind of old, either maybe like a Schwinn or um, maybe an old English bike. Um, everything else is entirely metric. Um, so as we go up here, this is a wheel dishing tool. So basically what this is used for is you want to make sure that the wheel is dished properly, so basically meaning that, it, that it's, um, the rim is pulled to each side um, appropriately. So you just kind of place it up there, push it on to the, uh, to the hub, and then check the other side, see if it's dished. So it is. If it wasn't, basically what would happen is there'd be either like a big gap in between the hub and, uh, and the dishing tool like that. I mean, that's very drastic. Or it'd be teeter-tottering on, uh, on the hub. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to take all the sp spokes on one side and pull them um, or push them the other way. Next is uh, a chain whip. So this is used for taking off cogs or holding um, a cassette in place so you can uh, remove the lock ring. And then we have um, obviously a hammer. Um, this is a lock ring wrench. So basically this is for bottom brackets or headsets. Um, or on some wheels, like fixed gear wheel, wheels, you'll see it'll have a lock ring on it, and this is uh, the tool that you use to take it off. We also have a, a tool that's called a lock ring plier, which basically is a pair of pliers, so it holds it tight so you don't hurt your knuckles. And then next, we have headset wrenches, and they go all different sizes. They're nice and thin, so they fit in, um, on the bottom of the, uh, the bottom nut of the headset, and then you can use a regular wrench on top, an adjustable wrench. Um, and that's for threaded headsets. Next we have um, a pedal wrench. So basically it's a 15 millimeter wrench. Um, it's nice and thin, so it fits on the pedal, in between the pedal and the actual crank arm. Um, they come in various sizes and, uh, and different shapes. Down here we have um, our wire cutters, specifically made for, uh, for bicycle maintenance. Basically so it's more rounded, so when you're cutting the, um, the housing, you, uh, it keeps it round instead of flattening it out like, like these side cutters would. And then uh, we have another pretty bike specific tool. This is um, called a uh, fourth hand tool and basically what it does is you put the cable in and then you can pull it together and basically what it's going to do is going to pull that cable. So that's good for adjusting brakes and adjusting derailers, pulling that cable instead of using your hand um, if you need a little bit extra leverage.